When we talk about uh, street food, there is uh, nothing better than a sandwich. I grew up in a family uh, with the need of cooking, so <laughs> I learned a lot of things during my, when I was a child. The, the challenge that I always have uh, is uh, if somebody has to leave the job, uh, or we cannot find someone immediately. It takes several months. Eh? We don't know exactly if the, after several months he can produce something good. Uh, my name is uh, Faustino Truffelli. Catch me on this Sunday at 7.30. My name is uh, Faustino Truffelli, I come from Italy and um, I came here in Kenya the first time was uh, 1994 and uh, we decided to start uh, to see the place where to start the business and then we opened a year later, 1995, so it's almost 30 years in Village Market. Just. Uh, I remember that we were one of the first shops open in Village Market. Um, at that time I had two shops, pizza shop and the ice cream shop. I mean, I, I grew up in a family uh, with the need of cooking, so <laughs> I learned a lot of things during my, when I was a child. And I start with them and with my parents. They used to run a, a how you say, a fast food, um, street food shop in Rome, near Rome. But you know, the children always want to do something different from parents. And uh, so I decided uh, to move from the family business and to follow my passion. My passion was to make pizza, more in that section, more in the restaurant. And uh, so during my summer, I used to work in the um, uh, beach hotels and learn how to cook, how to do waiters. And um, so it's slowly, I approached this business and I said, okay, maybe this is my life, because I really like it. That was the beginning of my history. And when we came here, was, um, okay, Kenya was a bit different from now. Um, so we decided to bring a, a special, things from Italy which is you find only in Rome, which is a pizza al taglio. Pizza al taglio means pizza by tray. Uh, usually they know round pizza, but this is, was an idea that we said, okay, everyone does round pizza, let's make a square, why not? So, and uh, we came up with another idea to bring uh, ice cream, gelato, homemade gelato. And uh, yeah, we had a lot of uh, a good uh, feeling and uh, we had a lot of customers at the beginning because it was one, one of the first uh, shops uh, uh, really new in Kenya. And uh, by, by the way, that was the ice cream that we sold uh, later on after 20 years. We sold the, the shop to somebody else and uh, now we remain only with the pizza shop and uh, with um, outside catering. Uh, service. That is the things. In the business I'm not alone. I'm with my wife. We start together and uh, we actually we came here just uh, as an expert of pizza and, and gelato uh, for a couple of years only to um, make sure that uh, we can uh, start the business for other people and we open these two shops for somebody else. After a while we decided, uh, with my wife, we decided, why not, well, this place, I, I like it. I like Kenya, I like Kenyans, so I think we can try to stay. And um, yeah, it was so interesting uh, how we slowly, slowly, year by year, we got in love with the, with the place and with our business. And uh, slowly, slowly we introduced also many other things, uh, apart pasta and gelato. I mean, we can invent something, huh? we can do something, since it's street food, what do you think about, uh, now, now I get in mind uh, something because I remember when I was traveling as a, I mean I've done different jobs, one of them was uh, going up and down to Italy with uh, 
I will represent another company. And uh, by the time uh, comes uh, for lunch, I used to say, okay, well, we stop to have uh, something quickly. And uh, usually you find in Italy this place uh, where you stop, you see these trucks, and then, and then they make a panino, a sandwich, uh, you call, and uh, you stop there five minutes, you get okay, your beer with a sandwich. So today we would like to prepare something in this uh, uh, atmosphere of uh, traveling, something like, okay, I'm a driver, I want something quick to eat, let's have a panino and uh, let's go to the kitchen and prepare it for you. When we talk about uh, street food, there is uh, nothing better than a sandwich. So we start with the panino, we'll do it everything in one pan, okay? So very simple, very easy, and uh, we start immediately, and the panino with something special. We say the Italian hamburger. The Italian hamburger we take uh, like uh, a sausage. This is a pork sausage, okay? One of the best sausages we will find. It. We need some spinach, I think. We need some uh, sweet, pot, uh, sweet pepper. Yeah. We have uh, yellow and red. Yellow and red, there is a way because I'm a, I'm a Roman uh, fan and uh, the color of my team, football team, is uh, red. Okay, that is very important to keep the tradition on. And of course, we need um, the bread. Bread is our focaccia. Okay, we do every day. And we are going to proceed in this way. First of all, we need this one. We prepare our sausage, pork sausage, we say it. Remove it from here, take a little bit of oil. Uh, I used to remove the oil because I don't like the excess of oil. Actually, I grew up in a fam in a big, uh, large family. Uh, we say the is a African family. They used to call us. Yeah, you are an African family. But then I came here. Uh, it's nothing to do. I mean, uh, we have only two children or three nowadays. But at the time, um, I, I, I have a full sister, bigger than me, and a brother, smaller than me. So we are eight in the family with the parents. And of course, the needs of cooking was there because uh, you know my mom cannot think about uh, could not think about everyone so we always helped her and also in the business we had the opportunity to learn a lot of things uh, because of them and because of this uh, business that we are running in the family uh, as I was saying uh, it was difficult for me to I mean when you are young you want to really do something on your mind you know I you said okay I'm a man I want to do something on my own so I, uh, I was studying, but during the summer I used to go on these hotels where you can uh, work. And at the same time, you can get your holiday, no? You, and then it was, <laughs> the age was there, you are young. So I, and there I learned a lot of things, yes. There with the time, at the beginning you are just helping in the kitchen, maybe washing dishes and uh, slowly slowly you get used to the place and the, to the to other jobs and you always say when you like something you you don't have to i mean to be worried because you um, look for it you are going to i mean i after that job i was doing in the evening waitering because i said okay i want to learn also this one because i really like it and then there was a lot of tips coming out. So I said, okay, that is a good thing. I think if I smile to everybody, I can get more. So I learned like that. So that was a nice, uh, you know, when you are young, you need some money to go out with your girlfriend, with friends. And uh, it was a nice experience. They really helped me to decide about my life. But the really um, uh, part of my life that I, I, makes me really understanding that this can be a good job was when I met this young man, at the time was a young man, but uh, with full of experience. And uh, the name is uh, Mimmo. I want to just talk about him because he was such a lovely guy. And uh, I um, uh, went to his place. He had exactly a shop like that. And then I used to go there to buy pizza. But one day I asked, please Mimo, I need to learn more about this business because I really like it. And then uh, he said, uh, are you sure? This is not an easy job. I mean, he said, uh, not to worry, I'm not afraid to learn. 
and uh, he decided to teach me. You know, when, when you have to somebody to teach you, it's not so easy because you have to learn without asking. I mean, we got in Italy used to, also my father used to tell me, learn with your eyes. Never ask, never bothering some people because they have to teach you. Don't wait there and please teach me. No, you have to watch them, even in a secret way. So don't disturb the people who are working, but just watch what they are doing. So I was there just to remember this kind of uh, no, uh, suggest from other people. And uh, with Mimo I learned a lot of things. Not only to make pizza, um, but how to treat with the customers, how to be always there for them, how to, how do you say, to accommodate them. Uh, this guy was amazing. I mean. Uh, was old man, but was a youngish inside. I mean, how can I say? And uh, these blue eyes of uh, was a great man. I mean, okay. so we do everything in the the way that you can uh, can see people preparing. Eh? So this is our sausage going. In the meantime, we clean the. I already washed it up. We cut very thin so it's easier to cook. And then we take a bit of red. We remove this part. Okay, this is enough for our sandwich. Get it here. Put this one in this corner. Okay. When we open the shop, since it's not a business that you can learn in the school, because it's very important, it's not a restaurant where they teach you how to waiters, how to prepare some dishes. This is something that uh, you don't find in the school, especially in, in out of Italy. I mean, it's very difficult to find a, a school that teach you how to run a pizza al taglio. Something. So you have to learn from 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 the job. So. Only if you are there, you can learn this kind of... There is no school. This is a school for pizza, how to do these things, but not to really for this kind of... This. So, um, it's difficult for... For me, it was so difficult to work with people that they come out from uh, hotelleria industry. So, and then after a while, I decided to bring people that they didn't know anything about kitchen, really. I start uh, to see how they wash the dishes uh, and slowly, slowly from the passion that they used to put there, the, 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 the way they love the job, slowly, slowly I bring them in other sections and slowly, slowly they learn and most of them now are the people which they, they found a job uh, even without asking themselves because they said, okay, I was here washing the dishes, but now I'm preparing and they, I can satisfy many people. So also for them, it's a kind of, uh, you know, uh, beauty, beautiful things to, to express their life. I mean, it's, it's interesting. Yeah. In the meantime, we open the bread while everything is cooking. Okay, we will prepare it here. The, the challenge that I always have uh, is uh, if somebody has to leave the job or we don't, uh, we cannot find someone immediately. We have to prepare at least for several months. It takes several months. Uh, we don't know exactly if after several months he can produce something good, you know? So we have to feel, I need to trust myself and see, okay, this one can, uh, we can work on it. Yeah, he has some qualities, so she has some qualities. So that is, 
for now I just missed a few of them, but uh, otherwise we, we centered the, the idea. Yeah. Put a little bit of salt here. We turn this one here like this. Okay, we're almost there. Spinach. We have sp Italian spinach. And we put in the scona here. Okay. Then we like some onions. onions. Here we need a little bit of oil. So salt. Onions always with a little bit of salt. So they release the water and they don't burn. This is the tips of the day. Okay. So the meat is almost ready. We remove this part. This one we remove it. The street food, yeah, is a bit different from uh, any other food industrial, but it's still uh, so passionate because uh, in a short time you have to produce something that uh, satisfies uh, the taste of other people. And, uh, they, and then those people, they have to come back because it's not uh, so... So how, how do you do that one? Always, I, when I talk to my staff, we have two groups of staff. We have groups in the, in the kitchen that produce, but also we have uh, outside uh, staff that is the first uh, step when the customers, that is the first people who meet is the customers. So I said, okay, you guys have the most important rules here because it's true that they taste something good and they come back, but without your smile, without your welcome way, you know, and uh, they, they will never come back. So you have to approach them in the right way. You have to, in this business, it's just a matter of, uh, let them feeling at home, like, like you are helping them all the time. Um, give that things that you, they don't find any other places. Give, because good food is always getting, no? And then it's always also belong to your taste, uh, taste, no? So I prefer that shop instead of this one because uh, they put too much garlic there, here is a bit more onions, so, so you can decide that one. But you always go back in a place where they treat you like you are home. I believe that. I mean, that is that kind of uh, thought with them. You can speak with the people there. They can say, how are you? Good morning. Um, even if they don't buy any things. But they, I told them, they, you should create that kind of um, environment, family environment. And then they might take a piece of pizza or a cappuccino, coffee, and then they come back the day after to see how it lives. And so that is the approach usually we have with our staff and the customers. The first thing is that you come out with the idea, of course, and then um, well, the idea comes when you see the, the right ingredients, the right products. Maybe you can, you go to the supermarket and you see something interesting and you start to feel it like, okay, maybe with this one I can mix together with a little bit of olive oil or something, I can do nice salad. So you start to imagine your dishes just way before you prepare it. So the things is you have to go shopping first. Because this is another thing here that I found it. I mean, if, uh, and then it's a frustration because customers maybe can ask, uh, please for tomorrow I want something, okay? And you go for that products and you don't find it. And it's often like that. I mean, uh, it's very difficult that you go for that products and you find it. So the best thing is to go and uh, see what you can do, what you find, and uh, according to what you find, you create your recipe. So usually we do like that. Okay, I remember when I was very young, I, um, uh, me and my wife used to, I was, was not yet my wife actually. Um, every Saturday we used to meet and uh, try to make pizza at my place. And uh, I remember we were just studying, uh, so we are not at the idea of making pizza, was doing something else. And I remember this pizza was uh, amazing. The, the, was, we, we are working on the kitchen together, and uh, this is just what we are doing right now still. 
and uh, she's, uh, by the way, I need to say something about her. Uh, my wife, Lorenza, so she's uh, working with me and uh, we have done most of the things together since we opened the shop. And uh, without uh, her, we, it was so difficult for me to succeed in this kind of business. This one takes a little bit more. Sandwich is here. So we can put this one here, like this. Some onions. This is almost ready. We have some spinach. So everything is done in how long? A few minutes, eh? Then some of this sweet pepper, yellow and red. Okay. Oops. Let me put this one in this way because I still need something else. Now the pan is very hot. We try to put an egg. Okay. And we cook the egg. few minutes so if you have a chance to go in Rome you find a pizzeria like that pizza al taglio pizza al taglio is something only in Rome it's difficult to find the pizza al taglio in any other places you can go in Naples but you find the the pizza round pizza with the bigger side corner and uh, also that is fantastic it's beautiful uh, each region in Italy has their own um, speciality. So this is something, pizza al taglio is something from Italy, from Rome for the, to be precise. Okay. 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 Now here we are finished. Put it here. Yes, You're almost there. Now we have to close it. Okay. We have to close it. And now we have to come closer, please. Eh? Now we have to see what's happening. Uh, this is the sandwich. Okay? This is our sandwich. This is the sandwich uh, of um, a trucker driver. Okay? <laughs> if you are um, on the road, you need some energy, you prepare this one. Thank you guys.